Hi everyone, welcome to Chemical Academy. So let's discuss some other questions of scientific officer previous year questions. So first question, the solution of the radial wave function of a hydrogen atom can be obtained from legendary polynomial, associated Legore polynomial, Hermite polynomial, associated legendary polynomial. So uh, the question is we have to find the radial wave function of a hydrogen atom. So the general wave function of a hydrogen atom is written as psi equal to r. r is the radial wave function part r n comma l. n and l are principal and asymmetrical quantum number. Then y l raised to m on theta phi function so this is the angular wave function and r is the radial wave function and now this r n comma l r radial function is given by the equation root of n into n minus l minus 1 factorial sorry there is no n n minus l minus 1 factorial divided by n into n plus 1 the whole q into z by n a 0 the whole raised to l plus half into l capital L n plus 1 raised to 2 l plus 1 into z r by n a 0 into r is to l e is to minus r by n a 0 so uh, it's very uh, difficult to by heart this so just understand the wave function of hydrogen atom or is given hydrogen atom is given by psi is equal to r radial no, no wave function r n comma l and y l raised to m theta phi that is angular wave function now the question is the solution of this radial wave function is given by uh, which of the polynomial so uh, from this radial wave function the polynomial associated with this is associated Lagore polynomial associated Lagore polynomial. Option B is the right answer. Why this form L2 raised to L plus 1 N plus 1 is at R N A 0 uh, into R raised to L. This form is called associated Lagore polynomial. Associated Lagore polynomial. And this E raised to part is called exponential part. And this is normal part normal so uh, just understand this is associated Lagore polynomial now second question the number of c13 nmr signals in naphthalene is 5 2 7 and 3 so we have to find the c13 nmr signals in naphthalene so the structure of naphthalene is two benzene rings attached so naphthalene is this now there is a symmetry like this and like this so two symmetric uh, axes is there so now we can number the uh, carbon atom so uh, numbering the carbon atom this one then two and this three now one 2, 3. Again, this is a symmetry element. So, this is same as this side. So, 1, this is 2 and this is 1 and this is 2. Okay. Now, how many carbon atoms are there? How many uh, types of carbon atom? 3 types of carbon atom. So, how many C13 signal? 3 signal. So, the option D is the right answer. Now third question, which one shows highest basicity? Uh, Lanthanum OH thrice, neodymium OH thrice, europium OH thrice and lutetium OH thrice. So the basicity depends upon the 
size how the basicity depends on size basicity basicity is directly proportional to size so uh, we have to find the highest basicity highest basicity means highest size atom so uh, the larger size atom so in from lanthanum to lutetium the size the si what happens to the size the size decreases so the size decreases from lanthanum to lutetium so lutetium will have low basicity compared to lanthanum so lanthanum is bigger in size lanthanum is big uh, in size bigger in size so lanthanum will be high basic high basic so which one shows highest basicity lanthanum oh thrice will show highest basicity basicity depends upon size of a atom now coming to fourth question in vibrational spectrum of co2 number of fundamental vibrational modes common in both ir and raman are 3 2 1 0 so we have to find the number of fundamental vibrational modes of co2 so the structure of co2 is c double bond o double bond o it is a linear structure so co2 so there is a center of symmetry here from carbon if we extend a line from carbon atom to right side and left side uh, on opposite directions uh, right and left Uh, in same uh, length then we will meet same atom oxygen so this is called the center of symmetry center of symmetry so if a compound contains center of symmetry it means it doesn't have ir it doesn't have ir modes so that means it don't have ir and raman common vibrational modes common vibrational modes common vibrational modes so the number of vibrational modes common uh, will be zero since this compound co2 is center of have center of symmetry now fifth question the electronegativity difference is highest for the pair lithium chlorine potassium fluorine sodium chlorine and lithium fluorine so we should know the electronegativity value of these element so first one lithium for lithium the electronegativity value is 1.0 and now chlorine so for chlorine the electronegativity value is around 3 then potassium for potassium it is 0.8 and for fluorine it is 4 now sodium so for sodium it is 0.9 and okay chlorine and lithium fluorine so we discussed now we have to find the difference between uh, these given elements so first one lithium chlorine for lithium it is 1 and for chlorine it is 3 so the difference will be around 2 now potassium and fluorine for potassium 0.8 and for fluorine it is 4 so the difference is huge uh, it will be around 3.2 now sodium and chlorine for sodium it is 0.9 and for chlorine it is 3 so it will be around 2 something 2 point something so lithium fluorine 1 and 4 it will be 3 so the huge difference is for potassium and fluorine so the answer will be b potassium and fluorine will have high electronegativity difference now six question the correct set of biologically essential element is uh, iron molybdenum copper zinc then b option iron copper cobalt ruthenium uh, then c option copper manganese zinc silver then d option iron ruthenium zinc and magnesium so we have to find the biologically essential element so which are the biologically essential element so the list is nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium then sulfur bromine chlorine iron then comes manganese zinc copper molybdenum and nickel so these are the 
essential elements so now find out the correct option iron molybdenum copper zinc okay iron molybdenum copper zinc is there so this will be uh, the correct set of biologically essential element here rudinium is given so rudinium is not in this list then silver is not in the list then okay here also rudinium so the correct option is a now seventh question the molecule that has s4 symmetry element c6 h6 ch4 co2 c2 h2 so the molecule which have s4 symmetry element so s4 symmetry element uh, is for which point group so first one c6 h6 it is a benzene ring so for benzene the point group is d6 h d6 h so in d6 h there is no s4 symmetry there is no s4 symmetry now comes ch4 ch4 is a tetrahedral point group so for tetrahedral point group the elements s4 is there 6 s4 is there and in co2 it is d infinity h so there is no s4 now the last c2h2 c2h2 is also d infinity h it is a linear so d infinity h for linear molecule this d infinity h now the question is the molecule that has s4 symmetry element so for ch4 there is s4 so the option will be b now a question identify the point group of pcl5 c3v c3h d3h none of these so pcl5 so the structure of pcl5 is tbp cl 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 and 2cl on axial and equatorial position on axial position so this is equatorial position and this is axial position so this is a trigonal bipyramidal structure now we have to find the symmetry elements of this pcl5 so in pcl5 which are the symmetry elements let's consider the phosphorus and two three chlorine atom that's in this plane so pcl5 cl then cl and cl so uh, the symmetry elements in pcl5 is c3 there is a c3 axis so if we rotate uh, this in this direction c3 c3 means 360 divided by 3 1 20 degree so if we rotate this in 120 degree c3 axis uh, we will get the same compound same chlorine atom so there is a c3 element now look on another rotation pcl5 so cl cl now there is a c2 axis a c2 axis is there through this line c2 axis c2 axis means 360 divided by 2 that is 180 degree if we rotate this uh, chlorine in 180 degree we will get the same chlorine atom so there is a c2 axis so c3 is there c2 is there now we have to look on the sigma plane sigma v or sigma h so in pcl5 there is a sigma h plane sigma h so sigma h is present now look on the sigma v plane if c2 is there then definitely sigma v plane is there in this direction so there is a sigma v plane sigma v plane so symmetry elements are c3 c2 sigma h and sigma v so uh, since sigma h and sigma v is present it will be a d group then uh, the n d n h so what will be n n will be the highest number that is 3 so d 3 h so from option it is c d 3 h now ninth question which is an abelian group cyclic acyclic square planar octahedral so what is an abelian group in a symmetric point group if operator multiplication is commutative then it is called abelian 
so what is operator multiplication commutative means if c2 into sigma v gives sigma v dash that is equal to sigma v into c2 if c2 sigma v gives sigma v c2 then it is called commutative commutative so such groups are called abelian group if the operation is commutative means multiplication if the operator multiplication is commutative then it is a abelian group so the uh, question is which is an abelian group cyclic a cyclic square planar octahedral so all cyclic groups are abelian so all cyclic groups are abelian all cyclic groups are abelian so the right answer is cyclic group so in a cyclic group all the elements of the group are produced from single element of group by taking it power so for example c2 c3 etc so in uh, c3 c3 1 and c3 2 equal to c3 2 and c3 1 that is uh, identity operation so if we do c3 1 and c3 2 in a compound in a group then and we do c3 2 and c3 1 it will be same that gives identity operation so this is an abelian cyclic group abelian cyclic group so just remember what is an abelian group the multiplication the multiplication operator is commutative multiplication operator is commutative so it will be a abelian group so which are abelian groups all cyclic groups are abelian now 10th question which of the molecule have center of symmetry ch4 so2 c6h6 sf4 so ch4 first one ch4 ch the structure of ch4 is tetrahedral so c hydrogen 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 and a hydrogen so this is the structure of ch4 so let's look uh, whether it contains center of symmetry so there is no center of symmetry in tetrahedral point group now next come so2 so what is the structure of so2 it is a bend structure s double bond o so this is a c2v point group c2v point group so in c2v point group there is no center of symmetry now c6h6 c6h6 is benzene benzene so in benzene the point group is d6h definitely d6h contains center of symmetry or inversion center so if this is the inversion center so if we move from this to this 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 we will get the same element so it contain a inversion center now the last option is sf4 sf4 the structure of sf4 is like this s f and f c so shape c so shape so this also uh, this is also a c 2v point group so this doesn't contain a inversion center so which of the molecule have center of symmetry c6 h6 contain center of symmetry